Good day people welcome back to my youtube channel Elgit Wave Principal we are going to discuss gold in this video and we are going to see uh, where the prices uh, are expected to go and we are going to analyze the price movement whether uh, how far and the correction is expected to go so uh, as you are well aware that I am actually bearish on gold I have been uh, saying this for a while uh, we are expecting this price movement to occur and this is what we are have been expecting that we will we have completed wave one of uh, primary de intermediate degree wave two wave three wave four and then we're expecting wave five to be quite long uh, the reason for wave five to be quite long is since we have not seen subdivisions in wave one and wave three so we're expecting wave five to be clearly subdivided on this time frame on the daily time frame right over here so uh, it looks like that we are very very close to uh, completing the correction it and we might have actually completed the correction anyway we are very very close for starting the resumption of the trend so let's have a look on a 15 minute chart and see if we can some fi find some clues all right on a four hourly chart let's see this is much better okay first of all you want to see how far the correction has gone and uh, I have used the here the percentage tool or the Fibonacci tool to see how far we have gone and we can see that we have gone to about 37.5 if you're using the equal percentage or 38.2 percentage which is not further deep so it's good another thing is that we uh, we can see that the support is coming into the previous structure which is also very important and we this is actually basically a wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 of a uh, of wave 3 actually right so you can consider it like that so both things are coming in good Another thing we want to do is that we want to see on a 15 minute chart there's a good possibility that the support that have been actually holding the wave C of the wave C of the correction right over here this is the wave C of the correction by the way we have been expecting this is wave I'm calling it as wave A wave B of the flat correction and wave C of the expanded flat correction there's a good possibility that we have actually seen the broken of if this is the support line if you're going to use this support line then we can see that the price has already uh, created a bottom there's a quite a possibility that we might see another price movement so the 15 minute charts are very very risky but I'm still considering that it looks like that we are very very close to actually resumption of the trend downward so let's go back on the daily chart uh, only chart and I can this is always an issue so I'm expecting this is to be a minor degree wave 1 minor degree wave 2 of 5 minor wave 3 of 5 4 of 5 and 5 of 5 so this is going to be an our intermediate degree right over here uh, and then we are within wave 1 we're expecting that we are going to see some pattern like this wave 1 of minute wave 2 of minute wave 3 of minute wave 4 of minute wave 5 of minute wave 1 and wave 2 are of course we are labeling it like wave 3 4 uh, are not exactly the price target so do not worry about the price target and uh, I'm fo putting focus uh, downward on bearish trend the 15 minute chart support is broken as well and we can see another thing that I did not discuss here if you draw a trend line right from the top we can see that it's retesting that trend line as well so this is all looking very good uh, but we still need to for prices to fall further down to call it a top of wave 4 all right we need more stronger price movement downward let's have a look at silver on a 4 hourly time frame I'm still bearish on silver nothing has changed so far and uh, I'm expecting that uh, we are going to continue the decline so I have not put the labeling of Elliott wave analysis instead of I'm using Elliott uh, sorry WD GAN uh, angles on it so this could give you an indication where important support and resistance is lying in one of my previous videos I already discussed the process of how I drew them uh, main important point is I'm bearish on silver the first target for bearish uh, silver is 21 and this bottom right over here this is our first target and then we'll see what happens after that and another thing I want to discuss is that uh, for some of you who uh, are really not well known to or not aware of Elliott wave analysis I have actually making a presentation and I want to make it a 
uh, a purchase course I want to make it a course turn it to a course that probably I'll put it on Udemy so this is the different uh, presentation that I've made I'm still in the process of making it I'm going to try to include most of the Elliott wave analysis in this presentation there's the second page right over here as well so I'm it's still work in process it's, uh, it's gonna take probably another uh, two to four weeks to complete so my uh, question is that what would be a reasonable price and that everyone could afford uh, to look at uh, this presentation on YouTube uh, I mean Udemy so if you could suggest something good reasonable figure uh, so that I can get some return as well and you can uh, easily without putting too much pressure on your pocket as well can study it as well so give me a suggestion and I will think about it thank you so much if you are inter if you like my content please uh, push the thumbs up button and share the content uh, have a good one and bye bye